hello guys so in this video i'm going to log into my studyable account and just to see like you know what is happening in my account so last time i made a, a video on studyable that was like two years ago and i shared with you like my experience with studyable and how i uploaded like certain documents and trying to sell my documents and well thank you for watching that video and the likes that i got thank you thank you so much so now it has been like two years since I uploaded my documents. I just want to see like, you know, how many I sold and if even like I sold anything at all. And also this is like my first time actually opening like this account in two years. So I'm just like excited to find out like what is actually happening. So, and again, what I'm going to do is to check like the study poll tutor account, the tutor account, which I created from study poll. And also just to find out like, what has changed also and if there's still any work there or so what i'm going to do is to log into my account and then i'll see you on the other side now we are inside the account so as you can see like i have like two notifications here and i don't know what they're all about like what is happening so let me just scroll down just to see oh there's nothing so let me just open these notifications and just to see like what is this thing what is it all about so it's just nothing it's just like um so the first one just uh someone who invited me to bid on a question like what is computer science and someone invited me to bid on a question what is this is like nine months ago so what i'm going to do right now right uh we're going to check like the documents like how, how much i sold for the past i don't know two years right so to do that we have to go to uploads right here that's where we'll see you know the figures so as you can see i only sold one so nothing has changed you know, it's just the same document which i sold i don't know the years ago and on my last video like some of you suggested that i should like upload like any document that has to do with sciences and stuff but i think i did but i only uploaded like a few of them so but i don't think it changed anything i don't know maybe i should delete some of these but i don't think you can delete them so i think when it is gone it is gone i'll try this on other websites because they are many websites which i want to try and i'll try to put like you know your suggestion try to find i think i have a couple of like uh, science notes and stuff i'll upload them there but these are actually are for the notes for uh, business management which is the which is a course which i did so now i'm going to move on to a more important part of study pro that is the tutors account so i'm just going to switch on to that account so that we can check if there are any jobs so on study board there are actually two accounts there's a, a student account which is this one you can see by this um, logo here a tutor's account is to have like a, a you know, tutor the word tutor under the logo that is how you know it is like a you know a tutor's account so this is what i'm going to do now So this is my profile account, which is for, for a Twitter, as you can see, there's like a Twitter word under the logo. So my internet is a little bit slow today. I don't know why it's just slow. So to answer questions like student questions, you have to come here. I think, yes, that's where you outsource you know, questions. If you have like questions that you, know, you need some help with, you can outsource them so that other study pool tutors can answer them for you. This is your balance, like your overall balance, whether it's for the documents that you sold and for the questions that you've answered on your tutor's profile. So if you want to answer like students' questions, that which is basically where the work is, you have to come right here. so guys this is um where you will get like the questions and stuff so this is basically where you can bid for the questions and you know get the job so you have to bid first then if you win the bid then you, you know, get to the job but the boring thing about this as you can see there are many 
you know, people bidding for the same job. So the chances of you winning like a job are, are slim. That is why like start ball sucks. I, I wouldn't recommend anybody to come here. So this is it guys. It's a start ball. Let's just try to you know open some of these options so that you can see like what's on there. So as you can see that there isn't much. So when like a student invites you to answer certain questions, then you will see those no, those jobs right here. Then if you have, you have like a students, your favorite students, I think they will appear here. So th these are the questions that you have to, you know, prioritize or something like that. I don't know. I only did maybe one task on this platform and that was it. So in short, this is study pool. It's what it is. But if it's something that you'd like to try, you can always register, right? But the people who um wants to buy these accounts or want to use like someone else's account, study pool doesn't like allow that, right? These guys can track like an IP. For example, if you like you are, you are living maybe in the South Africa or any any part of Nigeria, and you want to use an account which was created by someone who's living maybe in the US or any part of the world, so what will happen is that um these guys can track an IP an IP change, and if someone in another part of the world try to access it, they can just block the account. So that is what these websites do. So it's not even worth the try. So what I can say is that try to open your own account. If it doesn't work, you can always request for someone to, do, to open an account for you, you know, within the same place. Because I think that way it will be like better. Because at the moment, I think Startable is really like cracking down on accounts which are being hacked by people. That people are losing account to hackers. So that is what it is like. So if you want to join, you can join enjoy working maybe answering some some of these questions and ending a few bugs but it's not worth it because you should be prepared to sit in front of a computer bidding on questions almost every day that's start for for you and again thanks for watching this video guys and another thing which i wanted to point out is that i have been trying a lot of platforms many platforms um where you can earn some extra cash and so I'll be sharing those platform with you on this channel. Actually, I am fully back on YouTube and I've got like some amazing platforms which I want to share with you. So you should be subscribed just to you know, check on those platforms because what I enjoy doing this channel is to, you know, evaluate certain platforms, right? So and check if they are worth it. And so that is basically what I am going to do. And most importantly, I'm also going to be trying some platforms right here on this channel with you, you know? try to sign up and stuff just to see what happens right so that is basically what i want to achieve in this channel just to help you know and share you know some ideas and stuff on how we can earn some extra dollars online that's the reason that i'm here so i've got so i still have like a lot of platforms uh which i need to share with you so keep subscribed guys and again this is study poem 2024 this is how it looks like and until then see you on the next video